So remember when multicolor prints looked like this and wasted half a spool of filament? Well, that just died a few weeks ago. Bumble Lab literally said, hold on, hold on to my beer and drop a seven color printer with basically zero waste. And it is shipping today. Now Pusha looked, they laughed and they showed up with a eight tool heads and said, anything you can do, we can do it better with open source. Now here we have two companies and two insane machines and one just killed Perch Towers forever. The question is, which one is better? And that is what we're going to find out in this video. So if you're new to this channel, I am Duane and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the machines that everyone within the 3D printing community has been waiting for. Now drop a like if you're tired of Perch Towers and subscribe if you want to see these machines tortured the moment I get to purchase one of these. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Now we kick off with the Bamboo Lab H2C, which can be considered as a purge assassin. Bamboo Lab didn't just upgrade a printer. They invented a completely new way to do multi-material. So meet the H2C with the brand new Vortec hotend swapping system. It has a number of features to take note of. First being a fixed head with six wireless swappable hotends, which equals to seven colors or materials. You have contactless induction heating, which allows the hot end to be ready within eight seconds. And every hot end has a chip, so the printer remembers which filament is loaded. Therefore, there is no purge needed when you reuse a color. Paired with the AMS unit, you can print up to 24 filaments in total. So purge waste, you may ask, they're claiming under one gram in most cases. And for reference, this is what one gram actually looks like. And this is not a lot. It has 59 sensors, quad cameras, AI, everything, active chamber, and you have the optional 10 or 40 watt laser system that you can get creative and create multiple different products. So good news, the Vortex system also comes as an upgrade kit, which is compatible with the H2D and H2S system but the installation requires advanced skill and significant time for installation. On Bamboo Labs website, they recommend purchasing the H2C printer, which includes the Vortex system. And I guess this is based on the technicalities involved in installing the upgrade kits. However, if you're technically inclined and confident enough to install the system um, by yourself, then by all means do so. You can actually save some money especially if you have an existing system. Now these printers are available for shipping right now in most country and the price, if you want it today and don't mind a closed source system, which Bamboo Lab is actually famous for, the prices start at 2,600 and goes all the way up to 3,500 USD. Now let's move over to the Pusher, which has the Bontech Index System, which is a open source monster. Now, Pusha didn't bring a new printer. They brought a weapon. The Bontech Index system running live on the Core 1 and also the Core 1 L, it has up to eight completely independent tool heads mounted at once. Each tool head has its own nozzle, heater, and filament part, and it has near zero waste. This is something that we have been waiting for, for those who were always on the fence undecided as to whether or not to make a purchase for multi-print. <sighs> well, I think this is perhaps one of the best opportunities for us to actually acquire machines like these that can print without having that much waste. The tool change is between five to seven seconds, which is significantly faster than the Bamboo Lab system. And of course it is fully open source. And this system works on the new Pusher Core 1 and also the Core 1 L, which has the 300 millimeter build volume. The upgrade kits coming for existing core owners can be expected in the launch of Q1 of 2026. Now let's talk about the price. If you want open source and potentially cheaper, then the Pusher index system starts at 2,200 and goes all the way up to 2,800 USD. But you have to wait until 2026. So who actually wins? And honestly, it's, it's, it's hard to choose. It's hard, hard to make a decision. If you are a Bamboo Lab fan or you prefer a Prusa system, then it's an easy choice. But if you have special requirements based on the business or the 
the things that you actually need, then it makes this decision dependent on a few factors. So if you want it right now and you want to be able to print at 500 millimeter per second and you love lasers, then the H2C might just be the one for you. On the other hand, if you're patient, demand open source, which many people tend to prefer, and you want the most tools possible, then if you have no problem waiting for the X index system, then the Prusa might be the option for you. Another point is if you sell on Etsy and hate throwing away filament, well, honestly, both are life changing machines, but the H2C wins today purely because it exists right now. So 2025 just murdered Purge Towers in broad daylight and we are all winners because it pushes manufacturers to be better, to be creative. And when companies compete, we get more advanced products and technology. But honestly, I think this is such a good time to be alive, to see the, the advancement of 3D technology, to know exactly where it is actually coming from, to see where it is today, then it, it, the possibilities are endless for the future. So tell me in the comments below if you are ordering the H2C system today or holding out for the A-Tool Prusa Beast. Whichever one, I think you, you won't make a bad decision. It depends on your preference, which one you like. Personally, I love the, the Bamboo Lab system and you have people who love the Prusa. But I think we're all winners in this case and they're both capable machines that are capable of pushing 3D printing to the next limit. So anyway, smash the like button if Multicolor just got exciting all over again. Subscribe and hit the bell because you want to see more updates on 3D printing. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace.